Straight set win today, two and two. Now that's three straight, six two sets for you here in Indian Wells uh, against a player, by the way, Taylor, who had just won ten straight matches. <sighs> But you barely lose games against him in your career head-to-head. -head. What makes this a good matchup for you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, all the matches we've played have been on hard court. So, you know, I'm excited to eventually get that clay court matchup with him to see what it's see what it's about. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I'm a pretty good server, so I, I take care of my serve. I hold, and then um, I feel like I can find myself in a lot of points returning his serve and I get a lot of opportunities to break which you know some people just serve really big and there's not much you can do about it so I uh I just I just like getting a lot of chances getting into a lot of points mm. Taylor o o over the last 12 months we've seen you improve so many different elements to your game you, you seem to be taking the backhand up the line pulling the trigger a bit more often you're utilizing the forehand drop shot really nicely these days um are those some of the tactics along with a few other things that you're you're focused on continuing to elevate I mean, I think it depends on the, the conditions of the court, like kind of the shot selection. I think uh, backhand line has always been like one of my favorite shots, but um, I kind of just like realized in Australia, like, wow, I should probably just be using this more. Like it's it's working, you know, on a slower court, it, it maybe doesn't work as well. But yeah, I mean, I love that one. The forehand drop shot has been, has been huge. Uh, that's been a big addition to my game over the last couple of years. And now it's kind of just found its way like I, I feel more and more confident doing it uh you know on certain shots and uh it's it's a great uh compliment to my game because I back people up a lot and then I have these short forehands people need to really respect the fact that I'm gonna I can rip it inside in and you just like pull a drop shot it's it's great so yeah there's a lot of like you know little things I've added that I feel like that uh can complement the other parts of my game. You talked about Australia. You played some great tennis there. You made the quarterfinals there and played a really strong match with Novak as well. Playing Novak in that type of situation and getting even tighter, do you do you feel like you've been making strides, especially towards those those latter rounds and the Grand Slams? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, some of the previous times I, I played Novak, I was pretty just like disappointed in in my level. I feel like I hadn't played well against him. I feel like the only match that I really played well against him was like that ETB finals match that was pretty tight um so I was you know obviously not like really happy but I could take some positives from the Australia match because I did for two sets it was it was extremely close and I you know played at a level that I kind of been had been waiting to to play against him and um it's it's just about being able to, st to sustain that level for you know four four hours of tennis instead of like however long it was for the two first two sets like two two hours and a bit and then yeah. playing at such a high level that i'm not used to playing at um you you know wear down a little bit because i can play four and a half hours in my first round match and feel fine but it's not tennis at that level right. so it doesn't take that much out of you so uh it is about just continuing to play at that level and and getting fitter so i can do that for a long period of time it's a different beast taking on uh, the GOAT in a, in a three out of five set match, but you get that through practice. We saw you out here at Indian Wells practicing with Carlos Alcaraz uh, during this event. Uh, what goes into how you decide who you practice with? Uh, well, that's not up to me at all. It's, it's, uh, it's Mike. He schedules all the practices, but since I've been with him the last you know three years, I feel like he always uh, – makes an effort to give me practices with a lot of other top players and uh it helps a lot because the intensity like I was talking about when you're you know playing someone like Novak the intensity just in the practice of top players is is a lot higher you know when I'm just hitting balls with Alcaraz we're just rallying and hitting like I can feel it just like hitting the car you know, a lot harder than it is when you know hit with someone else you're not feeling that at all so uh it's great that I get these practices with all these uh top guys and Mike you know kind of goes out of his way to, to get that because the the quality is is a lot better you know it's definitely fun for us and the fans to watch that as well and especially here at Indian Wells where everybody can see those practices uh, once again great performance today Taylor and uh, we wish you the best of luck we always appreciate you spending some time with us here thank you